ذكر الكرام وسلما صلى عليه الله في ذكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته My respected brothers and sisters Our noble prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم left behind for us not only teachings of the religion of how to pray and how to fast but he also left behind for us the most productive and effective way of being the best human being on the face of the earth the most economical human being imagine a person whose lifestyle was so simple and so humble that if everyone on earth today was living that lifestyle we probably wouldn't have all of these uh, global crises that we're suffering from today let me give an example the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was someone who had clothing that was handmade it's mentioned that if his clothing tore he or his shoes tore he would even stitch them himself in his own home the the, the furniture that he had the walls of the house these were things that were bare minimum they were no different to anyone else's house the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam even when it came to how much he would eat it's reported he would say to people that split your stomach into three parts one for food one for water one for air and he would even say on some occasions if one morsel of food can straighten your back that's enough for you on one occasion in a battle companion comes to him and says oh messenger of allah we're hungry and he lifted up his shirt to show the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he had a stone that was wrapped around his stomach to press against his stomach to stop the pangs of hunger our noble prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam smiled he lifted up his shirt and he had two stones tied to his blessed stomach you imagine This was the life of an individual who understood the purpose of life, understood the mission of life. And when a companion came to his house and saw and began to cry and say, "Oh Messenger of Allah, you live in a house like this?" The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam became angry and he said, he said that, "What do I have to do with the dunya? What's what's my business with the dunya? I am simply a traveler in this world. I I I move and I stop and one day I will go back to my Lord." May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to understand the importance of simplicity in life. جزاكم الله خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله يا حبيب الله يا رسول